testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. So this lesson is showing you how to find angles in a triangle. A key piece of information is all angles in a triangle will always equal 180. So there's no confusion. Can't be 181 and it can't be 170. It has to be 180. So I've done the first example for you. So what I've done is we have a square, which isn't labeled, but you should know that a square in a right angled triangle is 90 degrees. So you can fill that in because we know it. So any shapes, if you know any information at all, fill it in on the diagram. It really helps. So we need to find X, that's our objective. So we've got X plus 90 plus 37, that's given. And it has to equal 180, it has to equal 180. So now we can add up our 90 plus 37 and that comes to 127. So now we have X plus 127 equals 180. Remember, we're trying to find X, what that missing angle is. So we're gonna do basic algebra. And because it's a plus 27, we're gonna take it over and it becomes a negative. And that comes to 53. So our X equals 53 degrees. Now you do need some basic algebraic knowledge for this. So go back to the basics on my other videos to help you out with those. And the good thing about these is we can check our answers because we know it can, it's got to equal 180. So all I've done is I've added all my angles up, including the 53 that we just did, and it equals 180. So I'm very comfortable and confident that I've got that answer right. If, for example, it comes to 183, there's something wrong, and you need to go back and check your angles. So let's do another one. We've got 70x and a right angle triangle. So I'm just going to fill that in. I know that's 90. So we're going to go X plus 70 plus our 90. And we know it's got to equal 180. So let's add those up, which gives us 160. And to get X on its own, we're going to take our 160 over and it's going to become a negative because it's a plus. Which leaves us with 20. So we know that X equals 20 degrees. I'm just going to check my answer. So I have 90 plus 70 plus 20, which gives us 180 degrees. So this one's slightly different. So you should know by now that this is an equilateral triangle. Why is it an equilateral triangle, you ask? Because it's saying that all angles are the same. They all equal the same. So we know that we have 180. So all you need to do is divide it by three because there's three angles. So you've got 180 divided by three equals 60 degrees. So something you need to kind of remember, an equilateral triangle, every angle is 60 degrees. So moving up to this top one, we have 4x. Now we've got 4x here. And we've got two lines here. We know it's an equilateral triangle. But this time we've got 4x. 
So we know that this base angles are going to be equal. Okay, so the base angles are equal. So now we're going to do 4x plus another 4x plus x. Because we don't know what x is, do we? And it all equals 180 degrees. So now we have 8x plus x. I mean, I was fully right this side. You could have just done 9x like that. 9 divided by 180. X equals 20 degrees. And that's it. And obviously you can check your answer. So we have 4 times 20. Then we have another 4 times 20. Plus 20 that we just worked out. That would give us 190 degrees. So I know I've got that answer right. Now, this one is an isosceles triangle. So what this is telling you, these two lines are two sides the same length. And we have two angles that are going to be the same. Slightly different, slightly more tricky, but doable. So what you've got to remember here is crucial sentence that they ask you in exam questions and I would get in the habit of writing it even if they don't ask you to. So when you do get asked, you'll nail it. So all angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. So all angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. So because we know that, We can work out this angle here. So I've got, we'll call it X, call it Y. So we've got Y plus 125 equals 180. So now we have Y equals 180 subtract 125 which will give you 55. So now I've found my two angles because they're both the same. So we've got 55 and 55. Now we can work out what our X is. So now we've got X plus 55 plus 55 equals 180. So all we've done really is an extra step, plus 110. So X equals 70 degrees. So all we've done is one extra step here. But always remember, all lines, on a straight line, or angle, sorry, on a straight line, equal 180 degrees. So we'll do this one. So this time the X is on the outside, so it's slightly different. But because we know that the two base angles are the same, we'll call them Y. We will be able to solve it. So this time we're going to go... We know this has got to equal 180. So we're going to go y plus y plus 52 equals 180. 
So now we have 2y plus 52 equals 180. 2y plus 180 minus 52 which gives us a hundred and so we'll look fifty twenty eight had a bit of a brain blank there didn't I guys and then two divided by a hundred and twenty eight is 64. Okay, so we found these two angles and they are both 64 degrees. Perfect. So now we can simply find x. So we've got x plus 64 equals 180. x equals 180 subtract 64. gives you 116 degrees. Now you can always check it by doing 116 plus 64. 6 plus 4 is 10. 6, 7, 8 and then 1. So we know our x is right. We don't need to check any further because if that's right, that angle's going to be right. So, hope you've understood that. If you go to my website, I've actually created a worksheet with different answers, sorry, different questions with step-by-step -step answers. Uh, so you can test yourself, but these are common questions and things you need to know. So persist and you will get there. Hope this helps. Take care. Bye-bye.